finishes. So I think the big thing we can look at there is setup. I think that what just looks so much better. <laughs> exactly, it's chalk and cheese, isn't it? I mean, that I think is very much sort of the stuff we talked with the chipping, the yeah. fact that his foot is flared out, the fact your hands are slightly weaker on the grip, the fact your shoulders are level, the fact the weight looks left side, the fact this hip is back. It's all these things that you were doing to try and improve the chipping, and the chipping's been great. But you've got to think that when you get to the golf course, you've got the chalk game family, sort of chipping, yeah. pitching. In between that, you've got obviously putting and bunkers, slightly different setup again. Then you've got your iron swing sort of setup. Then you've got your longer club setup with the woods and the hybrid. And obviously, the driver again as we go on to that, another setup again. So, with this swing now, because this hip was sort of sticking out, it made it harder to rotate. Yeah. Because you couldn't rotate, your arms had to kind of drag behind you yourself and you sort of see yourself sort of have to sort of move this way. Yeah. With your lower half. And when you put a lot of pressure on this knee going in here, as tall as we are, and that hip moving that way, it now makes it very difficult for you to come back to the golf ball. So what will happen is well, you'll sorry. sort of... You'll pop out. Cold and she that's fine. I'm here. That so that's I'll carry the cord. That's fine. Right? That's fine. Yeah. So as you swing through this here now, and you're hanging back, your weight position now is going to be hanging back on this right foot. So you're not really finishing in as much balance as you should do compared to this setup here now. Right shoulder under. Good takeaway. Your arms want to go more behind you now because your hips can rotate. You turn your body better, okay? And then from there now, it's the feeling of moving onto that left side, which you can see here now. Now, if you get the towel in this case, because you've got a towel contacted, it means you've bottomed out a smidgen, but not the end of the world, okay? You are moving your lower half. And you see your left knee now is not kicked in quite so much now, which makes it easier for that left hip to move to target, okay? It doesn't quite move as much as you want to, but you are moving better. If that hip could move a little bit more in that direction, that would change that low point view. The head staying nicely behind the goal, but in actual fact, the strike on that was actually decent. So the towel has just been clipped, but you are moving through. And the good thing is you finish in a lot more balance here, and that's what I want to try and see. So as a focus point, look at the setup. That's a pretty quick static change you can make. The rotation is good, so your arms are going up. Now from here, we're going to shift onto that left foot, Rotate round and shift, get that low point a bit more after the golf ball. And then rotating through to a much more balanced finish up on your left hand side. Okay, so moving the body better as we said. What we're looking for is a, is a finished position. It's finishing there in balance. Your left foot now you can see is giving an indication yep. of where you are, okay? The towel does get struck, but the actual impact position doesn't look too bad, too fair. Okay, that, that, that's your bad one because the towel's been hit. It's not a bad, disastrous shot. The ball's yep. still going to go somewhere. You probably caught that a smidgen heavy, or there if the ground's quite firm, might be a little bit on the thin side because your club bounced a smidgen, yep. okay? But generally speaking, from that better setup, you can now rotate. The left leg now looks less kind of kicked in, okay? Look yep. at your backs we know with this lefty, with that foot flared out. You're kind of doing this, and when we're top heavy, but if your knee goes in there, you're not going to want to move that way, so where's your knee going to go? You're going to start falling yep. back. So your end result in this one now is like, Ugh, not really in balance. Compared to this one here now. Looks much better. Exactly, mate. Okay, right, buddy. Nice. No, good stuff.